Yo, 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 what's up guys, how's it going out there, Jesus Quesadilla here, welcoming you back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City. It's good to have you guys join me here today, in the previous episode, we did a bunch of missions for Ricardo Diaz and Avery Carrington, in fact, we pretty much wrapped those up entirely, so today we're going to meet here with Kent's Paul and resume our adventures in Vice City, so why not jump right into it. I'm gonna save your beer, mate. My what now? You know that wanker Diaz, the bugle master? He's got your boy Lark. The bugle boy, master. To jump in, didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah, oh, 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 in oh, plain mate. English. Keep your party on. They caught him across the town the junkyard. Bloody hell, you nutter! Crikey. I don't know, is that right? All right, so yeah, Diaz apparently caught on to Lance. I don't know if that means he also caught on to me, although, at this point, might as well assume it, because Lance is in trouble. He's gonna find out one way or another. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. Alright, let's get over there in a hurry, though. Um, time is definitely not on our side. Lance's health depletes really fucking fast. Um, you'll want as quick a car as absolutely possible. This car isn't too bad, I guess. It's pretty decent, pretty alright. Although it helps to know exactly how to get there. Uh, will not lie. Knowledge of the game definitely comes in handy. I love this. It's like it's like vacationing almost. It's weird how that makes me feel um, in regards to Vice City. How when I play this game, I'm so familiar with the game world and where to go for the different mission objectives that I don't even have to look at the minimap, which is really nice. Um, I could basically turn the damn thing off and still do, I think, 95% of the missions in the game without any worry. Um, although for obvious reasons I'm not going to do that right now. But, I don't know, it's just kind of nice to be that familiar with the game. I feel like that's lacking games nowadays. Games always go for scale, uh, making these huge worlds, but I never feel all that connected to them, you know? I never get to learn the way that they're laid out, I never get familiar or comfortable with it. It's kind of just a really big playground, which is nice in a way, I suppose, but I don't know, there's something to be said for a smaller but incredibly memorable um, game world design. Fuck, these guys are taking quite a bit of chunks out of my armor here. Let's go ahead and wipe up the floor with the rest of them. Go ahead, get a little bit closer here. And I see you over there too. I think my control type got changed or something. You know what, actually, give me a quick second here. Let me see, controller setup, classic controls versus standard. Let's see what that changes. Because I'm used to the lock-on being a little bit different. So let me, oh no, that is not what I wanted at all. This is incredibly different, wow. Wait, can I shoot that guy like this? I wonder. Oh wow, this is so hard to do with a controller. This is like completely impossible. I can't imagine anyone plays the game like this. Okay, nope, you know what, bad idea. Bad fucking idea. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's stick with, uh, what we had going on there. Yeah, you know what? I'll fuck with that later. That's not okay. Oh, dear. Well, you know, you have to try new things. You have to experience... Wait, what? No, I don't want to quit the game. What do you think I am? Oh my god, really? He's right there! Fuck you! Fuck you, asshole. Uh, how do I... Here we go. Zoom in. Yeah, I went and grabbed a sniper rifle. Shoot you right in the dick, bitch. That's what you get. Oh god, we have guys over here too. And you'll notice these guys drop just insane amounts of money, which is nice because you don't actually get any money for completing this mission, so it's a nice uh it's a nice supplement to that fact. There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. Hey, don't victim blame. What do you expect me to do? Mow his lawns? Not for a little while. That prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we'll have time for uh for thanks and congratulations later. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge though. Um we have a few options for what we can do. I think there's actually a couple vehicles you can use in this scrapyard, but I'm just gonna grab this one. Um there's a larger vehicle that'll take less damage, but honestly I think I prefer the speed afforded by this particular car. And there's gonna be guys right hot on your tail as soon as you leave, so definitely need to be wary of that fact and try your best to avoid getting stuck in a situation like this all right yeah get the fuck out of there luckily because there's four of them they tend to just collide into each other a lot which is definitely to your benefits if you can make that happen 
Oh my god, are they behind us? Okay, yeah, they are. I saw them. I saw a glimpse, a glimmer of them in the distance. Do not go gentle until that good night. But at this point, it's pretty much home free. God damn it, Lance, you gotta keep your shit together better, bro. Now that you blew our cover, pretty much just gonna have to take out Diaz, which can't say I'm too worked up about, in all honesty. Pretty much okay with that. While we're down here, I might also... Uh, I think I have enough money to buy one of the nicer uh, buildings in the game as far as li living accommodations go. Also would like to get some armor if I can. Oh, nope, nope, park hey, right there. And meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. We'll take this bitch out. We're just gonna stroll into the hospital carrying an Uzi? Okay. Whatever you want, bud. Whatever you want. But yeah, I'm a little sick of Diaz's bullshit. Let's go ahead and wipe him off the face of the earth right quick. Um, I'll come back and buy that property I was talking about a little bit later. I want to go ahead and move on to the next mission. However, I can show you guys where there's a nice little armor pickup, which is always nice. I'm pretty sure it's over here anyway. I think in this little hovely building over here. Yep, there's some armor right here. And let's take this phone call. Of course they are. They spend a hundred years stealing from poor countries, and they call me a thief. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. So please hurry. Huh? Tell me I need you, all right? I hate the damn French. I am indifferent towards the French. I don't really hate any one particular group of people because I am not a bigot. Um, let's go ahead anyway. Uh, let's make it back to Starfish Island. I don't know why he called it Star Island. Maybe, maybe I've been saying it wrong? I don't know and see if we can't wipe out Diaz, get rid of this motherfucker. I remember the first time I played Vice City, I feel like I've been saying that so much. Back in my day, Shunny. Um, yeah, back in my day, when I first played the game, it took me forever to finally kill Diaz, and it felt like such a triumphant moment. Now it's kind of just like a little footnote in the game for me, you know, just a little blip, a little blippity blue. Um, but yeah, this, regardless though, this is one of my favorite missions in the game for sure. It is somewhat climactic, I guess, although it's not nearly that daunting anymore. I'm not too worried about it. Well, Lance better show. Oh, where's his uh, white and furnace? I'm so used to him driving that. I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit! Where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> Army surplus store. You like? Yeah. I like. Yep, that's 1980s Florida gun control laws for you. People just walking around with assault rifles? That's cool. Not that I'm gonna use them, but whatever. I've got better weaponry. Of course he has us on camera. What, did you think he didn't? Like, seriously? Alright, you got an MP5, whatever. Alright. Oh shit, you know what? I think my controller might be dead. Give me one second, I'm gonna go grab some batteries, because I gotta get new batteries for this thing, my bad. Hmm. Man, what a bad time to have that happen, I swear. Okay, let's go ahead and get back into this. Hopefully these batteries are fresh. Alright, so we got some guards over there. We don't actually have to fuck with them, but you know what? It's fun too, so... Let's see how many headshots we can get. See that guy over there. Yeah, I see you. Wait, I hear gunfire. Oh, it's these guys. These asshats over here. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck your friend. Fuck your friend. And how about yourself? So as you can see, it's actually really easy to take care of most of these guys from a distance. Are the cops after me now or something? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's not dawdle for too long then. But already, we cleared the entire front area. Uh, you can try and go in through the front door, but obviously it's going to be locked. I don't know why you'd even bother messing with that, quite frankly. Alright. And, yeah, I knew there was a guy back there. See, I've already learned all the enemy placement. Um, that is one thing, just from a game design standpoint. It's kind of silly to have enemy placement always be in the same location. Like, I guess there are some reasons why you'd want to do that. But really, it takes away some replayability, I think, from your games, just because, uh... If you get used to the Emmy placement, you know how to deal with it really easily, and then it's not much of a challenge at that point. That's kind of where I'm at with Vice City. Um, there's only a handful of missions that I would say really challenge me, and the only time I ever lose a mission nowadays is because I fucked up, just like me derping. 
Um, like sometimes I'll shoot lands by accident or something like that, but that's just me being dumb. You know, fuck you. And I wonder if we can kill Diaz with the sniper rifle. I'd like to give it a chance. Get his guards anyway. Yeah, yeah scalped him right off the top of his head. Get you two. Let's see how this goes. Might not go so hot. We'll see. Remains to be seen. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, you're out of breath because you're shooting a gun. What kind of guards does Diaz hire? Do you want to come out? I think I want to take him from this side, maybe. There you are, you motherfucker. Yeah. I've come to take over your business. Tommy, you betrayed me, you idiot. I'm gonna kill you real quick. Yeah, I don't know about that. You murdering bastards. Here we go, here we go. Just peg him with sniper rifle shots. Maybe give him a nice little headshot. Oh no, he's gonna run like a little bitch into his office. You know what? We can smoke him out. Just toss a nice little grenade in there. There we go. Grenade Diaz to death. I've never done this before, but it seems to work. <laughs> nice. Like I said, you gotta make your own fun sometimes. It's a good way to do it. You stupid pricks! Wow, I can't believe he's still moving after I all that. House. Look what you done to it. This is for my brother. I trusted you, Tommy. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have. I would have had you made. Say good night, Mr. Diaz. So good. All right, and now we get to take over the Diaz Coke Empire. As well as with all of his other business ventures. We get his mansion, though, more importantly, which is so fucking cool. And $50,000. Nice. Street clothing. Um, you know what? Might as well save my game real quick here, because, again, I have not saved in that entire recording session. I really need to be a little bit better about doing that, but whatever. Nothing too bad. Also, oh, well, I guess we're going to do this oh, mission. This I didn't intend to, but here we are. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? That doesn't mean he can't do both. Time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. And let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead. And they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. And see, this is why I fucking love Tommy Versetti. Everyone else is being a little bitch, and Tommy's just like, I got this. I fucking got this handled. Y'all chill here and scratch each other's butts. I'm gonna go out there and actually make this shit happen. Alright, so this is actually a really fun mission. I love doing this. Um, game gives you plenty of time and a really fast car, so you don't have to worry about the time aspect. But basically, we're going to make our way over to the North Point Mall and just wreak all kinds of havoc there. It's going to be a good, good time. But yeah, I just love that. Again, I, I think another one of the things that endears me so much to Vice City is that... It's not so much that you feel like Tommy, because I feel like a lot of gamers say that they want to feel like they're the main protagonist, but I don't. I like feeling like a total badass, and I know in real life that's not always the case, so... Sometimes it's nice to play a game where your character just doesn't take any shit. And Vice City, uh, Tommy Versetti is one of those characters. So, that's always nice. Not to have to put up with any of one's bullshit. Also, the game just gave us tons of money and we're gonna have to go buy some property with it soon, but that's gonna unlock all kinds of missions. I'm already trying to plan out what I want to do first. Uh, you'll be able to buy all these properties that, up until this point in the game, you couldn't previously buy. And basically get them so that they're generating revenue for you. Which is always a good thing. But yeah, basically we just have to shoot out all these windows and... Can be easier said than done, but this is actually probably the best weapon to do it with, too. You know what? Whatever. And actually, this is pretty well located. Let me just take out the Tarbrush Cafe real quick here. You can also run in here and grab a katana. Um, actually, I already did. <laughs> the katana is beautiful because you can just slice the fuck out of people like that. Let's go ahead and run up here and I can actually lose the wad level real quick if I grab some clothing. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna grab some clothes and then shoot up your establishment. 
All right, let's get the fuck out of me way. You can kiss me, but goodbye. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't down with that. Ain't no way, ain't no thing but chicken wing. And then we got an establishment over here. It can be a little bit difficult, although thankfully the game does a pretty okay job of telling you if the windows are on the first floor or second floor of the mall. That's really the only thing that ever used to hold me up, but now I've got it figured out pretty decently. Pretty dece. Oh god, four-star wand level. I'm gonna start calling in the SWAT on me. It's landed in the food court. That's kind of serendipitous. And we got some windows over here. What the fuck do you even sell here? Propane and propane accessories. I mean, it's just windows. You can fix the window displays. Can't be that big a deal, can it? And then this shit, whatever this is. Damn straight. Ending off with a five-star wand level, Christ. And now you can buy property all over the place, including the Malibu Club, which is awesome. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do the Malibu Club missions again. That's where another really irritating one is, but whatever, we'll have to do it eventually. We'll get to it eventually! Alright, yeah, you just go and buy it, that's all it's telling you. Fortunately, don't get a lot of money. Although I'm curious, I wanna check the stats here. Does it say how much of the game I've completed? 14%?! Well, that gives you some kind of indication. I'm only a tenth of the way through all the content in the game. Um, that's not the main story missions, that's the 100% completion that I'm going for, but wow. It really puts things into perspective, but oh no, episode 4, if I'm 14% done. So what does that mean? It'll be about 40 episodes? That's not too bad, I guess. Man, though, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm surprised he's even inviting us to hang out after all the times I beat him up. I feel like every time I see Kent Ball, I just choke the shit out of him. But alright, let's get out of here and see what else we can do. Um, hmm, I have a few options. I'm kind of wanting to do the next Cortez mission. Um, it'll actually be the last Cortez mission. You know what, why don't we go ahead and do that and grab some armor on my way down and maybe we can do that. It can be a little bit tricky. Um, I normally like to do that mission with a rocket launcher, and you'll see why for very obvious reasons. But I can probably do it even without it. It just helps. It, it helps mitigate some of the stress, you could say. Alright, and... Uh, nope. Not going towards the golf club. Uh, the one thing I would say about this game that probably doesn't hold up as well is, um... I think San Andreas did a lot of fine-tuning to certain mechanics in the game. I noticed that vehicles explode really quickly in this game, which can be helpful when you're doing a mission where you have to shoot at a car, but if you're driving from destination to destination, it kind of makes things annoying when your vehicles blow up every couple seconds. Um, it was even worse in GTA 3, though, so I think that's something that they've continually refined throughout the series. But, you know, just little mechanical things like that probably aren't the best. All right. There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying Me a giddy is, up, partner. And you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. Yeah, thanks for the advice, broski. Trying to decide what first property. The best property to start with is probably Sunshine Autos. It's just that it's not a very interesting property. Basically, all you have to do is go around collecting cars to fill out, um... Basically, I, I, I'm assuming it's kind of like a chop shop style thing. Um, but that's not terribly interesting. However, it does grant you probably the most money for the least amount of work early on. And then you can snowball that money into buying other properties, and it kind of takes off from there. Um, alternatively, if I could somehow scrounge up a little more cash, I could get the Malibu first. Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. Yeah. I use friends very loosely there. The store isn't actually selling guns. They're just paper cutouts of guns. It's a sham. Alright, yeah, Sonny, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm not hearing that noise coming out of your face. Alright, let's get down and see if we can do that mission for Cortez. 
I really wish we got to see more of Cortez, honestly. He's, he's one of my favorite characters in the game, and I feel like he doesn't get nearly enough screen time. I would have loved to play, like, a super old-school Vice City with young Cortez. That would have been a great uh, spin-off game, I think. There's so much potential that they could do in the GTA Vice City universe. So many spin-off game opportunities. So little time. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check -in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> I'd say probably a little more than that, even. Well, hey, sailor. And just as we're about ready to leave, they are going to fucking rush us. Although there is a really cool trick you can do. Um, if you get a large enough truck, you can actually, before you start the mission, block the entrance way. And then they can't actually get to you, which is pretty fucking hysterical. Yeah. Because now, see, they're able to get to their boats, but you can actually prevent that from happening and avoid, like, half of the fighting in the game. It's just absolutely hysterical when you do that. But no big D. I'm probably fine, just like this. Can fuck up these dudes. Fuck up they shit. From Star... I, I don't know... I don't know nautical terms that well. I really don't. Fuck that guy. Oh my god, they're going to start boarding, aren't they? Oh god, no, no, no! Oh god, that was not smart. Well, there goes, like, all of my armor. Beautiful. Uh, did I fuck up? Did I do good? I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm guessing I did alright? If it's playing this cutscene, yeah, I must have. Oh shit, here we go. Here's the fleet, here's the armada. Get up front and clear the routes. I will try. I will try my diddly darndest. Yeah, I know, I know. Why can't I hit anything? Here we go. Okay. Sniper rifle is probably one of the more effective things to clear this out, I guess. If I have to. Fuck these guys. Fuck they shit up. Nope, nope, nope. I don't think so. Let's see if I can get that boat, maybe? No, it doesn't matter. As long as I can blow up these boats to get them out of the way, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Oh god, what's going on? What's going on? I don't like the way this is going. I don't like the way y'all are hanging out around here. Eventually they are going to storm the boat, so I just need to be ready for that. Oh joy, oh joy. Let's see if we can finish. Oh hey, how you doing down there? Uh, here we go. Fuck you. Oh my god, these boats take forever to destroy. Yeah, here they go, they're climbing on board. I should probably get ready for that. They're going to show up any second now. Or not? That's weird. Normally they do. Okay. Where are the helicopters coming in from? I see ya. We're being overrun by the French? Shit. Uh-oh, that's not good. That ain't good, Charlie Brown. Oh god, nope, 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 that's gonna blow up. Okay, okay, wow, this went to hell in a handbasket really quickly. Everyone is dead. Everybody is dead. Fucking spectacular. Nope, I don't think so. I don't think so, bitch. Here we go. Anyone else want some? Anyone else? Anyone want to die? You motherfuckers? Ah, oh, shit, they got an Apache. Fuck me, okay. Well, we can still handle that, I think. Nope, nope. I know, I know we are. You know what, just chill out for a sec. I got this. I got this on lock. This thing can take a lot of damage, unfortunately. You can also dole out a lot of damage, but if you shoot the pilot, you're all in the clear, apparently. Here we go. Get rid of these guys. Here we go. Anyone else we gotta kill? Nope, that might be it. I think we're good. That could've gone smoother, but I think we're good. Alright. It's just me and Cortez left. Sweet. Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Dude, I have nowhere to keep that. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? Well, I'll keep more than an eye on her. Myself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. 
Wait, you just left your daughter here? Wouldn't they come after her next? Shit. All right, well, mission passed, and that is the last we'll see of Mr. Cortez, unfortunately. Circumstances force a hasty departure. Now let's see, I think we have time for maybe one more mission to end off the episode. I'm just trying to decide what I would like to do. Um, while I'm figuring that out, let's go ahead and make our way over somewhere. But I'm thinking... Right now, map, let's see, we could do... Let's do another payphone mission. I could do more main story stuff, but I want to splice in the, uh, the side mission content every now and then to make sure that I'm doing that at a fairly steady pace as well. So let's make our way over in that general direction. And as I recall, that's not too terribly difficult of a mission, so it probably won't take all that long. Ooh, boy. Am I going to be able to get onto that dock? That is the million-dollar question. Getting off of boats in this game is always so trepidatious because... Well, you know, you die if you fall in the water. If you die in the game, you die for real. Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, God! Whoa, see, I barely made that. I actually don't know how I made that. Uh, okay, that's creepy. So with that threat having been made, let's get the fuck out of here. No, officer, not today. Not today, I have a mission to get to. Um, actually, I need a more durable vehicle to do that one. I saw a SWAT van there. You know what? Yeah, I'm thinking SWAT van might be the way to go on this one. It's just that sometimes it's locked, so I didn't think that that was really going to work out. But let's see. Let's find out. Is it? No, we can actually get in there. Sweet. And when you take a SWAT van, you actually get a set of body armor. So that was a good two-for-one deal here. All right, with SWAT van in tow, let's see if we can end off the episode here with this next payphone mission. I really do love these. I, I think it was unfortunate that I didn't do this in my first Let's Play, but now I get to rectify that. Waste the wife. My compliments on a job well done, Mr. Teal. My client was very pleased. I have more work for you with a more hands-on approach. Yeah, yeah, you with the hands-on approach bullshit. Alright, let's do this. Okay, Miss Dawson will be leaving the jewelry shop in Vice Point soon kill her. It must look like a car accident. So basically that means no weapons. The only way you're able to damage her is by ramming into her vehicle. So let's go ahead and park out here, I guess. Well, that wasn't the best setup. Check that ass. All them polygons. I thought she was just going to get in as a passenger for a sec. Okay, make the car burst into flames and then make yourself scarce. Can do, or well, I hope I can do. Uh, her car is fairly quick, so that can be a little bit annoying, and once we ram into her, she's going to start speeding off. Although that probably means she's going to collide into more stuff on her own accord, so that's always nice. Alright, let's see if we can catch up to her. If you can ram her into a wall or something like that, then that just slows her down even more and ends up eating up more of her time. There we go, and we flipped her car. Oh, get out of there. Yep, can't be seen. Not too close. There we go. Easy cheese. All right. Well, in any case, guys, I think that's going to be enough for today's episode. I'd like to thank you again for joining me here once again. My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and I can't believe I got all the way the fuck up here. That's kind of cool. But in any case, guys, if you've not already subscribed to me, I'd like to welcome you to do so because that is the best way to stay up to date on all my future uploads. And before I end off, I will take this phone call. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Alright, sweet. So it's been a lot of fun, and until the next one, guys, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well from Vice City. Peace! Here we go, here we go. Just peg him with sniper rifle shots. Maybe give him a nice little headshot. Oh no, he's gonna run like a little bitch into his office. You know what? We can smoke him out. Just toss a nice little grenade in there. There we go. Grenade Diaz to death. I've never done this before, but it seems to work. <laughs> Nice. Like I said, you gotta make your own fun sometimes. It's a good way to do it. 
getting off of boats in this game is always so trepidatious because, well, you know, you die if you fall in the water. If you die in the game, you die for real. Oh god, oh, no, oh, god, whoa, see, I barely made that. I actually don't know how I made that.